Today I will show you how you can add a different texture in Photoshop on an object and go from this to something like this. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another fun Photoshop tutorial. You already know what we will do today, so without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. So first thing that I did here, obviously I took a photo of a gun, of that plastic Nerf gun, I hang it on a two strings and lit on it with a three LED lights. I review those lights in my Tuesday Tech episode, so if you're following my Tuesday Tech episodes, you'll know about the lights. In case you have just one light source and you want to make complex light setup, you can do that. I already did a full tutorial on that, you can check it out. Then I use the clone stamp tool to remove unnecessary parts from a photo like those strings and also the lower part of the gun that I don't need at all. After that, I just selected the gun, refined the selection a little bit and extract it out of the background using layer mask. And after that, the fun part starts. Actually, this is a tedious and boring process, but it needs to be done. So I use the pen tool and trace certain surfaces of a gun to extract it as a separate objects on a separate layer. So use the pen tool, transform it into a selection and fill it with a certain color. The color is not the issue here, actually you can choose any color that you like or you can put everything in the same color, it doesn't matter. I use different colors just to see the different surfaces better. But the point here is that I will later use those surfaces to fill it with a different texture. So this is the way how I did it. You can straight uh, away after making a selection, fill it with the texture that you want, but I want to do it this way because to be honest, I, I wasn't certain which kind of texture I want to put in, so I just want to have everything extracted out of the background. So, as you can see, this is just a straightforward process. Use a pen tool. If you don't know how to use a pen tool, you can check out my tutorial on that. I have a fully explained tutorial on how to use a pen tool, and it's really simple and easy process. After I finish making these separate elements, I put on every single of them this metallic texture. I just download it from uh, Pixabay, I think, and just place it there. Also, what I did here, it's really cool. I used a luminosity mask of the gun to basically extract the shape of the gun. If you don't know what luminous, luminosity Another way how you can do the same thing instead of making luminosity mask is to use black and white representation of the gun, put it on a separate layer and put that layer into overlay or soft light blending mode. In that way, you will copy the shape of the gun to a flat surface. So this is really cool and easy technique to use to copy the shape of an object to some flat surface. It's basically dodging and burning. So after I did that and after I finished placing that metallic surface on all separate elements there. I just did some refining here of the edges. But to be honest, I didn't like the, the final effect because I didn't like that metallic surface that I chose. My idea was to create more like a flat matte texture of metal with some scratches on it. So this metallic surface didn't give me that result. And that's why I later changed that into that flat matte a metallic texture, you will see how it's even simpler, more simple than, than this. But here what I did, I just played with some changing the brightness and colors of uh, the gun itself. Here, as you can see, this is the black and white representation of uh, the gun. This is my basically shape of the gun and I didn't want that logo there. And what I did, I just paint the color, just regular color of the gun there and in that way, I just removed that. Also the handle, I just removed that part of the handle and this part of the string, I removed that too because I don't want that to interfere the shape of the gun. So after I finish all of that, you will see now, I decided to uh, just change the color of the top and the bottom of the gun, tweak a few more things here and there and then I changed the complete texture of the gun. See that? part of the gun, that, that tip, it has so many of these lines, I don't like that. I really want to be like really nice, matte, flat, straight, nice surface. 
And to get that kind of effect, what I did here, I just used a 50% gray tone on every single element there, like I did exactly the same like I did with the metallic surface and just changed the brightness of it. I made something darker, something brighter, etc. So instead of using that metallic texture, I just used 50% gray color and did everything again. I just place that on every single separate element that I extracted at the beginning. And then again, I colorize the top, colorize the bottom, as you can see here, and remove a few parts like this right here, and play with basically dodging and burning here. So now I decided to add some scratches on the edges of the metal. So because the, that, that's a metal and it has a paint over it, when you place it on some hard surfaces, you will scratch the gun or whatever you have. So I just use a really bright color and regular brush and just slowly paint those scratches at the edges. And in that way, I gave impression that this is more metallic. Now it, you, you can see that starts to look like it's really cool metal surface there. So I will now let you to watch this speed up uh, part where I just did these kind of scratches there.
After painting all those scratches, dodging and burning the gun, I used my custom made weather brush to weather the gun even more. And after that, I even placed at the top of everything some scratch metal surface to add more scratches to the surface of the gun to make it even more realistic and even more interesting. Then I decided to add a few more details. So here I just draw some rectangle and modify it a little bit. And this will be some kind of light on the gun. So you will see what I did here. I just delete left and right part. I tried to add some kind of battle and emboss and shadows inside, but I didn't like that too much. So basically what I did is just use the outer glow that I didn't like it too, and just manually draw a glow on that. If you don't know how to do that, I have a full playlist dedicated on different ways how to create glow in Photoshop. So this is one element, then I just made a copy of the same element and just play with the position on the gun and made another copy here and that's basically it. Also made this a little bit smaller and then use a sticker like an alien space gun here on the handle to have some small alien there, put it in multiple bending mode and just play with the colors, experiment with the different colors. I like the blue version because it's complementary to the to the yellow version, but I ended up with that yellow orange version of that. After that, I went to a camera raw to do a final touching of colors and details. And when I finished with this, this is how the final version looks. Okay, so this is the final result. I really hope that you like it. Let me know down there in the comment section what you think about this technique. There are so many ways how you can achieve the same result in Photoshop. This is just one of the techniques. For this particular example, for the gun, there is much easier technique. You can just use black and white adjustment layer and uh, just move the sliders red and yellow to the left to make everything darker and then apply those scratches and uh, dodging and burning and you will get the same result much faster. But this technique is meant for much wider spectrum of examples. So if you have different types of textures, not just the plastic, just straight, uh, really nice plastic like the gun is. So you can use this, uh, this technique to much wider examples. Now it's up to you to practice experiment and have fun with your own examples. Just take a photo of something and try to recreate something like this. If you have any kind of questions regarding to this episode, please leave me down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer it. Have fun experiment and see you guys in my next one episode. Bye bye.